Look up at the night sky. It's a vast, dark canvas dotted with countless stars, each one a distant sun, each one a story waiting to be told. Can you find Orion, the mighty hunter? This constellation has been a guide and a source of wonder for countless generations. He stands there, frozen in a perpetual chase across the cosmos. His form is unmistakable, a celestial figure locked in an eternal hunt. His shield is raised, his club at the ready. Orion is a symbol of strength and endurance, a warrior forever poised for battle. But it's his shoulder we're interested in, marked by a fiery, ruby-red star. This star is none other than Betelgeuse, a beacon of red light in the night sky. That's Betelgeuse, a celestial giant on the verge of a spectacular demise. This star is a red supergiant, one of the largest types of stars in the universe. Betelgeuse is easy to spot. Its brightness and distinct red color make it stand out among the stars. It's one of the brightest stars in our night sky, a fiery beacon in the constellation Orion. Its light has traveled over 600 light years to reach us. This red supergiant is a standout, even amongst the celestial tapestry of stars. Its size and brightness are a testament to its power and significance. Its crimson hue is a clear indication of its advanced age and impending fate. Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life cycle, a process that will culminate in a dramatic explosion. But there's more to Betelgeuse than meets the eye. This star is a dynamic and ever-changing entity, with a surface that bubbles and churns with intense energy. This isn't just any star. Betelgeuse is a cosmic heavyweight, a star that has lived a life of extraordinary magnitude and will end in an equally extraordinary way. It's a cosmic heavyweight, a ticking time bomb in the grand cosmic arena. When Betelgeuse finally explodes, it will become a supernova, a brilliant burst of light and energy. And its grand finale, when it does occur, will be a sight for the ages. The explosion will outshine entire galaxies and be visible from Earth even during the day. This event will mark the end of Betelgeuse's life as a star, but it will also be the beginning of a new chapter in the cosmos, as the remnants of the explosion will eventually form new stars and planets. Betelgeuse dwarfs our own sun. If we replaced our sun with Betelgeuse, it would engulf Mercury, Venus, Earth, even Mars. Jupiter would be a scorching hot world. That's how massive Betelgeuse is. Red supergiants are stars in their twilight years, their cores ablaze with the fury of a dying star. Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life, its fuel reserves dwindling. This massive star burns bright, but it burns fast. We are witnessing the final act of a stellar drama billions of years in the making. Stars, like us, have a life cycle. They are born, they live, and they die. Betelgeuse is no different. It began its life billions of years ago, a cloud of gas and dust collapsing under its own gravity. The immense pressure at its core ignited nuclear fusion, the engine of a star's life. Hydrogen atoms fused into helium, releasing the energy that makes stars shine. For millions, even billions of years, this process continues. But eventually, the hydrogen fuel runs low. The star begins to fuse heavier elements, growing larger and hotter, eventually transforming into a red supergiant. That's where we find Betelgeuse today. Section 4. The Supernova Spectacle When a star like Betelgeuse exhausts its nuclear fuel, it can no longer support its own weight. This process marks the beginning of an extraordinary cosmic event that has fascinated astronomers and stargazers alike for centuries. The core collapses in on itself, triggering a cataclysmic explosion, a supernova. This dramatic collapse happens in a matter of seconds, but the effects are monumental. The supernova will release an unimaginable amount of energy, more energy than our sun will emit in its entire lifetime. This burst of energy is so powerful that it can outshine entire galaxies for a brief period. It will be a cosmic light show of unparalleled brilliance. Imagine a light so bright that it can be seen across vast distances of space, illuminating the cosmos in a spectacular display. When Betelgeuse goes supernova, it will be visible even in broad daylight. This rare event will captivate the attention of people all over the world, drawing eyes to the sky both day and night. For weeks, even months, Betelgeuse will outshine all other stars in the night sky, a beacon visible even during the day. This prolonged period of brightness will offer a unique opportunity for both amateur and professional astronomers to study the phenomenon in detail. This is not science fiction, it's a scientific prediction. The study of supernovae has provided invaluable insights into the life cycles of stars and the dynamic processes that govern our universe. And we are fortunate enough to live in a time when we might witness it firsthand. 
The potential sighting of Betelgeuse's supernova is a reminder of the ever-changing and awe-inspiring nature of the cosmos, a spectacle that will be remembered for generations to come. Section 5. A Safe Distance Now you might be thinking, if Betelgeuse explodes, will it harm Earth? The answer is no. While Betelgeuse is relatively close in astronomical terms, it's still far enough away that the explosion won't pose a threat to life on Earth. The light from the supernova will reach us, a spectacular celestial show. But the harmful radiation will be dispersed long before it reaches our planet. We are safe to marvel at the spectacle. Section 6. Betelgeuse in History and Culture Betelgeuse has fascinated humanity for centuries. Ancient civilizations observed its changing brightness, weaving it into their myths and legends. Some cultures saw it as a harbinger of change, others as a celestial protector. The very name Betelgeuse is a testament to its enduring allure. Derived from an Arabic phrase often translated as the shoulder of the giant, it reflects the star's prominent position in Orion. Betelgeuse is a reminder that we are part of a vast and ancient universe, a universe filled with wonders beyond our comprehension. Section 7. The Final Act Betelgeuse's supernova will be a momentous event, a rare opportunity to witness the death of a star. This colossal explosion will be visible even from Earth, lighting up our night sky with a brilliance that rivals the moon. For astronomers and stargazers alike, it will be a once-in-a-lifetime spectacle, a chance to observe the final moments of a giant star that has fascinated humanity for centuries. It will be a fleeting spectacle, lasting for a few months before fading from view. During this time, Betelgeuse will outshine all other stars, becoming a beacon in the night sky. As the supernova dims, it will leave behind a nebula, a beautiful cloud of gas and dust that will slowly disperse over thousands of years. But Betelgeuse's death will not be in vain. From the ashes of this dying star, new stars and planets will form. The supernova will trigger a chain reaction, compressing nearby gas clouds and igniting the birth of new celestial bodies. This process, known as stellar nucleosynthesis, is how the universe recycles itself, turning death into new life. The elements forged in its core, the very building blocks of life, will be scattered throughout the cosmos. These elements, such as carbon, oxygen, and iron, are essential for the formation of planets and the development of life. Without supernovae, the universe would be a much less diverse and vibrant place. Betelgeuse's final act will be a spectacular light show, a cosmic reminder of the cycle of life and death that governs the universe. The explosion will release an immense amount of energy, creating a dazzling display of colors and patterns that will be visible across vast distances. This light show will serve as a poignant reminder of the impermanence of all things and the beauty that can arise from even the most cataclysmic events. It's a reminder that we are all made of star stuff, and to star stuff, we shall return. The atoms in our bodies were forged in the hearts of ancient stars, and one day, they will return to the cosmos to become part of new stars, planets, and perhaps even new forms of life. In this way, Betelgeuse's final act is not an end, but a new beginning, a testament to the enduring cycle of creation and destruction that shapes our universe.